Hello everybody! Welcome back to some more Realm of the Mad God. I used to go like this, but apparently you can't do that now because Wall Street Journal will call you a fascist and a Nazi. So we're gonna do this instead now. It's more American anyways. So anyways, we are here at the Seer. So for those of you who don't know, and how could you not know, because this is this happened a while ago, but there's now daily rewards. So the first one here is a stout. So let's grab that, and we'll grab this ale as well. So if you, and there's two different ones. One's a calendar. So like this month, this is how many times you've been on for the month. As you can see, if you go 27 days, you unlock a vault and 29, a character slot. That's pretty big. And of course, you know, potions of life and, and skins and mana and all sorts of good stuff. So definitely do this. Definitely do this. And the second one is the login streak. So one days in a row, two days in a row, up to eight. Obviously, you get a backpack. Let's uh, let's get right into it. I haven't played this game in a very long time. So I'm going to be super rusty. I feel like I say that every single episode now. Yeah, probably about every single episode. We're playing as our archer, obviously. So, oh, well... Ah, too late now. I guess we can kill these guys. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. Ooh, let's not click off the screen. Let us go right to the godland. That's not the god... What? That is definitely not where I clicked. All right, let's do a hermit god. I want to do a hermit god. We should do a hermit god. What are you guys up to? Did you have a good weekend? I had an excellent weekend. Thank you for asking. I hope you had a good weekend as well. So, what I did... Saturday, we didn't really do much. I kind of watched the kids while my wife studied, which is something that happens a lot now. She's, of course, in, in grad school, so she does a lot of studying and stuff, and I think it's starting to kind of wear on her. I don't think that she likes doing that any longer, which I can definitely, definitely understand for sure. But, all right, come on. Oh, did, did we find the way in? No. What, what are these? Oh, those guys are still on the beach. Mm. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I spend a lot of time watching the kids while she studies. She spends a lot of time studying. Okay, here we go. We're getting close. We're going to wait. No, we'll, 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 that's fine. So, but that, that's why I did all Saturday. Now, Sunday morning, I decided to wait in front of a Toys R Us for two hours uh, until they opened to get my hands on a Nintendo Switch, which, spoiler alert, is really quite awesome. It's, it's actually, I, I like it a lot. We're going to go into that. That's what, that's what I'm going to talk about to you guys today. Let's not click off the screen all the time, okay? You know, stop working to these guys. There we go. Perfect. So, yeah, so that's what I did Sunday. So I was there from, like, 8 to 10. And then, oh, no, 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 no. Don't be all paralyzing me and stuff. I don't like that. We may have missed a lot of it. Let's go ahead and shoot our quiver in. Uh, did we get a thing? No, we didn't. There's an ocean trench. I really don't want to do one. So we're not going to. But that was a lot of lag. Wow, I've not seen that much lag in Realm in a very long time. I wonder if things are, are getting bad. Oh, there's a phoenix. Are they? Did they up? Did they up the... Where's the phoenix at? Is it... It's got, it's got to be, like, right here, right? Did they up the amount of events spawning? I never see this many events spawning. I'm going to die if I do this, try and do this alone. But anyway, so yeah, so I stood in line for, for two hours to get my kids a Nintendo Switch. Obviously, I'm, I'm going to spend a lot of time just playing, uh, playing it myself. Uh, okay. I don't actually know how this phoenix thing's supposed to work. Do I shoot the egg? Do I not shoot the egg? Let me know. I'd like to know. I should just look it up. Realm Eye is your friends, guys. Oop, weak. Don't like that. So, yeah. So, I got it. Unfortunately, they were out of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, oop. What do we got here? Let's drink that. I'm not going to drink that. Someone else is going to take it. That's fine. That's, that's fine with me. What else we got here? Yeah, bring on the events, man. Another Phoenix Lord. Let's do it. This is the events episode, apparently. I didn't plan on it that way, but I'm sure you guys aren't complaining. You always complain I don't do enough events. It's probably because I don't see them very often. 
So, but yeah, so I had to go to like three other stores in order to find uh, Breath of the Wild. Was that, okay, wow. That was quick. Is that a pirate cave? Oh, OMG. OMG, guys, a pirate cave. All right, let's, let's go over here towards the god lands. Um, so, yeah, so I had to go through like three other stores to find that game. I, I know you can buy it online and, and download it, which takes apparently freaking forever, like four hours or something from what I've heard. I didn't want to do that because, as you can see, I like having a collection. And so, ooh, what's this over here? And I, I wanted the, the physical copy. Call me old-fashioned or, or whatnot. I wanted the actual physical copy. And, you know, it's the same price. So why not why not get the actual physical copy? You know what I mean? It's the same price. You're not, you're not spending any more money. You're spending time finding one. That's about it. So, so yeah, so I wanted to talk to you guys. I didn't do an unboxing video because I didn't want to wait and set up everything. I just wanted to open it up and play. But, so I wanted to talk to you guys kind of my first impressions of the Switch, which, um, I gotta say, I was skeptical going into it, but I'm, I'm enjoying it quite a bit here. So let's, let's just get into it. Let's just get right into it. So... The Nintendo Switch is $300. Now, it's not as powerful as a, a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One, right? But it does have a screen, so it's like a tablet. It's a touch screen as well. Where the frick are the Godlands is what I want to know. All right. Let's do a snake pit. Do let's Yeah, there we go. So... It's $300. It's basically a tablet. Uh, you guys already know most of this, but in case you don't, uh, you get two Joy controllers or Joy Cons, which clip to the side of it. Um, and then you can also unclip them and just use them standalone, which is, which is kind of cool. Or you can clip them into a thing and, and use them like as a controller. Or if the game allows multiplayer, you can have each person take half of one, and then you get kind of like an old NES-style controller with the... Uh, well, that it didn't have an analog, but, you know, where you have a movement and some buttons. I guess that, that wouldn't really be NES, because you still get four buttons. Let's see, what would that be? Sega Genesis, maybe? Not really. Anyways, you each, you each get half of it, which is cool in itself, right? You get kind of two controllers, but also one. You can buy the... Pro controller, which I probably am going to to buy one, just because I think that's going to be the best way. When you when you click the two Joy Cons into the thing, into the gray thing, and connect them together, it's kind of awkward for me. And maybe it's just because I have large hands. I'm a I'm a large-handed guy, ladies. Um, but I don't know. It's kind of awkward. I'll be honest. With the two Joy controllers connected to the tablet, playing it in tablet mode is the most comfortable for me. That that actually feels really good. I don't know if it's because my hands are further apart or something, but it, it feels like that's the way it was supposed to be played and probably. So right off the bat, you get a lot of functionality. So you can play it, you know, as a tablet, on the go, on the toilet, if, if you really, really want to. You know, I got it because my kids can maybe play it when we're like on a road trip into the mountains or something for a few hours. Now, the biggest the biggest complaint I have so far about that, from what I have heard, is that the battery life is fairly subpar. There we go. It is fairly bad. So... If, if you're going to play it in tablet mode, from what I've heard, depending on, your, on the brightness settings and, and the game and that kind of stuff, you're probably looking at two and a half to three hours, which, you know, is, is not that great in my opinion. But the, the worst part is that the, the batteries, you can't take out and replace them. So you, it, it's kind of like a, a cell phone, right? To where that's kind of what you get. That's, you know, 
maybe you can send it in and they'll refurbish it and send you a new one. Not quite sure. The other downside is that um, you only get like 30 gigs or something with it. I don't remember the exact number. It's, it's not a lot, though. You only get like 30 gigs or something, uh, which is more than the download for one of the the first game, you know, the games that it came out with it. Now, that being said, you can upgrade that with an SD card if you want. Flash memory on SD cards. And um, please tell me if I'm wrong here. From what I've heard, oh, a Penarac, let's do it. Where is it? Where is it? It's got to be like right here. It's got to be where everyone's at, right? Where's that Penarac at? I want it. That's a Ghost King. We might have missed it. That's that's a shame. But SD card memory, from what I've heard, isn't that fast. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But it may not be fast enough. I, uh, I, I couldn't see them saying, all right, it'll be fast enough for your games. And then say this is the only thing you can do is have an SD card and then it's not fast enough. I don't see Nintendo doing that. Maybe they will. I'm not sure. But I'm definitely planning on getting an SD card with it. By the way, we're coming in here because I need feed power. I, I'm, I'm trying to feed up some... I have a duck with like heal, magic heal, and something else. I think it's like attack far or something. I'm trying to feed him up. And, and fuse him together. So the reason we are in here is because the, uh, the Forbidden Jungle is pretty good for feed power. So that's, that's really the only reason. And it's, it's super fast to just run through here as well. There we go. And Bob's your uncle. There we go. Come on. Uh, let's not die, though. That would be that would be really embarrassing if I died here. There we go. Feed power, please. No? No feed power? I just wasted a lot of time. Ooh. Eh, I'll, I'll, dr I'll drink you. I said I'll drink. There we go. Perfect. So, those are my, my main gripes. Now, the... The ones that, that dropped on Friday to now, the, the like first wave ones of them, apparently have an issue with just the left joy controller kind of desyncing a little bit. And I have to say I have noticed it a little bit because your character will start just kind of drifting off to the side a little bit, which is kind of annoying. As if... As if... Um, like you're putting an input into your your movement controller, but you're not. So I, I have noticed that. So I don't I don't know. I'm hoping that it's not hardware side. I'm hoping it's software side, and they'll just throw out a quick patch and, and fix that shit. But all right, there we go. I don't know if we're gonna be getting any any swag. Any swiggity swag. And we got something. We got a dex potion. Absolutely great. All right, that's what I wanted. Anyways, actually, I would have really loved a defense, but that's fine. I will take it. So, uh, the system itself seems very robust, very well made. Uh, I've heard that the screen resolution, if you're playing tablet is only like 720p i played tablet for a little while it didn't bother me it seemed pretty good so i you know I, it's a smaller screen if it was a large screen only 720p maybe that would look a little bit weird but when it's on your tv it's like 900p but upscaled which some people might have an issue with it's upscaled to 1080p honestly it looks good to me i'm not you know, I, I'd rather have a smooth frame rate. I'm one of those guys. I, I'd rather have that nice buttery smooth frame rate, at least 60, please. Um, and it seems to seems to do fairly well so far for me. I haven't noticed any weirdness yet. So that, that's been good. Do I have any other complaints about it? Yes, I do. My biggest complaint 
right now is the price of the accessories. If you want a second pair of Joy controllers, 80 bucks. I think you can buy one of them for 50, which I don't know why you would do that other than maybe one of yours broke and you don't want to buy a set, you just want to buy one. I could see that. But 80 bucks for a, another set of controllers is expensive. Um, I believe the Pro Controller is 50. I could be wrong on that one. I don't remember. I believe it's 50 though. Um, oh, no, no, no. No, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we go. Uh, let's get out of here. That was a typing mistake that almost cost us, uh, cost us our lives, which happens a lot to me, I guess, but whatever. Let's see how we've been going here. 15 minutes. Going to Medusa. The Medusa Oblongata. Bueno. All right, let's, let's, just, let's just dive into this. Wow, hello. Hello, gods and or goddesses. So I spent basically most slash all of today playing Zelda. I'm not going to spoil any of it for you guys, but I will say that it has gotten consistently very good review scores, and I agree with most of the things that the reviewers are saying about that game. So that's basically all I'm going to say on that front. Let's not die. Please don't die. No, 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 no. That's what I'm going to say on, on that right now. But I, I, I would say I'm enjoying it, you know. Now, the biggest, the biggest issue I have so far is if you want to play Zelda and you don't have a Wii U and you're like, all right, I'm going to buy a Switch and you buy the Switch just to play Zelda, you just paid 400 bucks to play a single game. There's not a lot of other games out for it right now. And so, you know, there's that as well. And, I mean, you know what you're getting into if you're, if you're buying it now. I have not played Bomberman or 1-2 Switch or whatever it's called or any of those. So... I don't know how, how good those are. I plan on getting them, um, have a few more games, you know. But there, it looks like there's other good games coming out soon as well. So hopefully, hopefully more decent games come out. Because right now, quite honestly, without playing the other ones, most people are probably buying it. Either just to have it because they want all the Nintendo consoles or they're buying it to play Zelda. So, which is fine. That's why I bought it. Also, I bought it because I think my kids will have fun with it. I think that's valid. Also, guys, here's a quick tip. If you want to buy a Switch, wait till your wife is doing something very important and has a lot of con concentration, like studying for her finals. And then go, hey, babe, I think I'm going to go out and buy a Nintendo Switch. And she'll go, yeah, sure, whatever, that's fine. And then you have permission to go spend 400 bucks on it. Great. It works great. It worked for me. So that is how you convince your significant other to buy a, a very expensive gaming console. That's how I did it anyways. So, yeah, so that's my story. That's basically been most of my weekend. I've done a few kind of like unboxing slash face cam videos, which I am very, very pleased with how that unboxing went. I think the music's a tad loud. I'll adjust that on the next one. But I'm very pleased with the way that the editing and the layout went. And I'd say I think the vlogs are, are doing better as well. I, I liked that last one as well. So if you have not seen those, definitely go check them out and let me know your opinions on those as well. If you do not pay attention to my stuff and or watch that vlog, then you may not have seen that I did breach 400, uh, not 400, yes, 400 subscribers, long time coming. No, I have breached 4,000 subscribers uh, basically a few days ago 
which is amazing. Not quite sure what I'm going to do to celebrate that. Some people wanted me to do a lipstick, or not lipstick, a, uh, one of those, like, makeup tutorials. I don't know. That, that could be kind of fun. I'm not quite sure. Uh, let me know. Or if you have something else you would like to see. I've been wanting to do, like, a Draw My Life type video for a while now. But I do want to wait and do it on a nice round, like, 5,000 or, or 10,000 or something. I feel like that's something that would be good for, like, a, a big milestone. 4,000 is great, but I wouldn't consider it, like, a huge milestone. I'm thinking, like, 5 or 10 would be great for that. Definitely something I'm going to be doing in the future once I hit those for sure. So, but yeah, if you have anything else, you know, uh, if you have any Q&A questions, I've started doing those in all my vlogs. You can leave those down in the comment section of any video. We'll, we'll answer some questions that you guys have as well. And that's basically pretty much it. So, let's, uh, let's do... Let's, let's see if we can find a good one more dungeon. Come on. Kill it with fire. Here's a puppet. Let's see if anybody comes here to do a puppet with me. Probably not. I don't have a lot of people who... Okay, yeah, we got, we got some peeps. Let's, uh, let's do this. All right, cool. Maybe we'll do a puppet for the last bit and then we'll leave it there. But what do you guys, what did you guys do this weekend? You know, anything, anything cool, anything fun? I don't really know how to run these dungeons. That's why I wanted to do them though, because that's how you learn how to do them is by running them. So here we go. I think it's a cool idea for, for a dungeon for sure, for surezies. Having little puppets that act kind of like the characters themselves, the different classes. I think that's kind of cool. It makes it a little bit difficult to see which one is the enemy and, and, and not the enemy to some degree. And, unless you're not like really not paying attention. There we go. Oh, oh what do we got? Yeah! All right, cool. Go ahead and try and use our secondary. Oh, yeah. Let's get up nice and close. Right up in there. Get, you just got to get right up in there. Get all three shots going. And nothing. But I will take some of these because, oh, I do need them. Uh, was that the the final one? Or is that... I You see, I don't remember which one is, like, the, the treasure room or not. The treasure room is, like, the idol, isn't it? It's got, like, a golden idol or something. Or am I thinking of the abyss or something? I don't know. I don't know. It's been a while. That's no excuse. I'm just lazy. All right. I am hopefully planning on doing some private server goodness soon. I'm basically trying to get access back into my account over at uh, Project B. So I talked to Bledixen, or I'm not quite sure. I think that's how you pronounce his name. So should be hopefully getting back into that account here soon so I can start recording, which will be good. Oh, what do we got? No, this is the boss. Okay. <clears throat> I remember now. This is the actual boss. Okay, cool. Gotta concentrate. Gotta get my concentrate face on. There we go. Mm, yeah. What else about the Switch? I got the, the colorful one. I didn't get the black and gray one. I wanted a colorful one. And it's, it's really bright, too. The colors are like neon blue and neon, almost, almost orange. It's like a purple, almost orange, which is cool. Yeah, let's get, get all up in there. Um, T9 armor. Eh, we'll drop. I don't, I don't really want, ooh, eh, nope, don't really want that. It's fine. All right, guys. Well, I think that's probably where we are going to end this one. But thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you in the next episode.